everyone, I'm Cass and I'm the program coordinator at Learning Fuse and today we're going to do a little quick how-to on how to create your own LinkedIn banner. So here is my LinkedIn profile and right now we currently don't have a banner and your banner is, if you look at it, it's an opportunity to showcase your personality, interests, work or team moments and essentially it's a really good spot too for your personal branding so that people can know a little bit about who you are and what you're all about. So we're going to be using Canva, and Canva is a, essentially a simplified Photoshop. What I really like about it, it's like I said, it's simplified. And you can whip up all these little graphics really quickly, including your LinkedIn banner. Um, and so if we look at here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to search. You're going to search in LinkedIn banner, which is right there. And what's really nice is it already has the height and the width for you. So that way you don't have to guesstimate how big the LinkedIn banner should be. We're gonna, there's a lot of uh, template options here, but we're gonna create a blank LinkedIn account, a banner, and we're gonna start off one with right here. So I actually already pre-created one and we're gonna make it look just like this. But essentially you would typically start off um, with, so sorry, we're just gonna, so that's not distracting. There we go. We're just going to start off with a blank banner, right? And what I really like, I personally like, um, we're going to go to photos. I like cherry blossoms. So what I did is, um, this is a bunch of photos. I chose cherry blossoms. So I just did a quick search. And you can even grab an image from Google if you would like to, or even create your own um, background. Right, so I chose, oh man, I totally forgot which one I chose. Uh, we're gonna go back and we're gonna choose the one that I used. And what's really nice is I can drag it and it'll drop it into the background. And if you click it, it'll just, you know, do an image like that. But we're gonna have it be the background, the main background. And we're gonna go to elements and we're gonna choose a square. So I'm going to drag it all the way across. And I don't know if you notice, what's really neat is that it shows a color for me based on what I have already. Um, and I'm going to actually decrease the transparency. Right. I actually want it to be a little bit more pink uh, because I think it's a little bit more brighter. There we go. I'm decreasing the, I'm adding this over so the text, my text can be, it's a better contrast between the text and the background. So over here, I'm going to choose add a heading um, and we're going to choose a Montserrat because Montserrat is a very classy font. For me, it's one of my favorite fonts. Um, it's one of my favorite fonts and it's, I think it's a really good showcase of my personality. You can get really into a rabbit hole with fonts and topography, um, but once you find a couple that you like, I typically just stick to those uh, when I'm creating. But of course, this is for my own personal use, and so Montserrat does display my personality a little bit better than other fonts. And I bolded that, yes. Um, so we're gonna have that. And I want it more so on the right side, because if you notice, right, your face, your profile, your picture is on the left side. And there's no point in putting too much stuff on the left. It's gonna be really crowded. So I wanted some it more on the right side, so it's not as crowded. Um, so I, there's really, honestly, like you can have your image be a background, like you can have an image be a background. What I like to do is add a little bit of text um, overlaid the on the picture. So that way you can put your, um, like you can put portfolio dot, you can put your portfolio site and people will be able to know what your portfolio site is, or you can put your email, right? Or your GitHub, oh, right? So for me, I personally am going to choose, I'm gonna put this.
Um, and I actually want my name to be a little bit bigger. And that's when it will actually be a little bit smaller and I want it to fit along the one line. And I'm going to right align this, right justify, so that it's all aligned on the right. Like so. I'm going to make sure this is in the center. So what I do is I just grab both of those elements. And what's really nice is it has these ruler guidelines as well. Um, so this is in the center. And I still think I could improve my contrast between the text and the background, but I still want to be able to see the background. Like I want to be able to see the cherry blossoms, right? There's a lot of creative freedom that you have with the LinkedIn banners because this is your own personality. Um, so what you can do is see how it's on top of the text. I'm just gonna send it backward and I'm gonna send it backward again. So I'm gonna make this actually white and I'm just gonna copy paste that and just um, overlay that. And I'm gonna make this that same pink. Um, actually, you know what I forgot to do? I wanted it to be like that. Since it's like over, it's a shape on top of a shape. So, so see that, see how it's a little bit lighter and now that purple is just having a much higher contrast against the light pink. And I actually want a little border, right? So I'm gonna go to elements. I'm gonna, it's actually under shapes. So you can just see all the shapes and this is gonna be one of them. And you see it fits right, you can make it fit or if you want a thicker, slightly thicker border, you can um, scale it up this way and then move it back and see how you have a little bit of a thicker border. So that's what's also really convenient as well. And because it's laying on top of that. Yeah. If I wanted to make this slightly smaller, I can. So that's what I really like about Canva is I can really easily scale everything to how I want it to be. I'm trying to decide if I want it to be a little bit more right. I think it's okay for now. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So see, oh, this is a slightly darker. Uh, but yeah, so this I think is going to be, I think this is actually too big in terms of font. So I'm gonna delete that. So we're just gonna download, I made sure to name it. So I named it LinkedIn banner and now I'm just downloading um the png and then we're gonna go to the linkedin and we're gonna upload it and we're going to choose There we go, see how it's the perfect size because we chose the LinkedIn banner option in Canva. And we're just gonna apply, that's it. That's all there is to it. It adds a little bit of splash of color, right? Because everything else is like more or less text, right? So this adds a splash of color and that's how you do it. So have fun, be a little bit creative and I look forward to seeing your personalities on LinkedIn. Thank you.